and in the numerator you have x. Therefore, I have taken x square is equal to t that the derivative of, the derivative of this is 2 x dx is equal to dt. Therefore, x dx is equal to dt by 2. If you substitute the values here, take 3 outside integral dt by 2, 2 also I am taking outside x dx can be written as dt by 2, 2 already I have written by 1 plus x power 4 can be written as t square x power 4 is nothing but t square. Now, it is in the form of integral 1 by 1 plus t square. Variable is changed. It is in the form of 1 by x square plus a square or a square plus x square. The integration of this function is integral to 3 by 2, sorry, tan inverse t plus c. Now, substitute the value of t as x square. The solution for this is 3 by 2 tan inverse x square plus c will be the solution. So, here we have used the substitution method, substitution also for the function, suitable substitution we have taken to find the integration. If x is there, here we have assumed x square is equal to t and so on we have to find the solution. Continue with the integrations of some particular functions, let us see some more functions of this talk and uh, this type. Now, we am continuing, a uh, fourth one is integral 1 by root of x square minus a square dx, the integration of if the integrand is of this form 1 by root of x square minus a square, the integration for this function is log x plus root of x square minus a square plus c mod. Next one is if the integrand is of the form 1 by root of x square plus a square dx, then the integration of this function will be log of x plus root of x square plus a square modulus plus c. If the integration integrand is of the form integral 1 by root of a square minus x square, see the difference. If the integrand is of this form a square minus x square, then the integration of this is sin inverse x by a plus c will be the integration. How to prove uh, this all the formulas? We have to take suitable uh, substitute trigonometric function to prove this integration. Here we take x is equal to a secant theta. One more also you can take that is x is equal to cosecant theta, but the simplest form is sim simple form is x is equal to a secant theta. So, to find integration of this function, the suitable substitution is x is equal to a tan theta, and the suitable function to find integration of this type of integrand is x is equal to a sin theta. Either you can take x sin theta or a cos theta but simplest form will be a sin theta applying this we find the integration of this type of functions. Now, let us see uh, how to solve some problems using uh, which are in this form and we will find the solutions. Now, let us solve integrations of the functions this form. This is in the form of integral 1 by root of 9 minus 25 x square dx. This can be reduced into the form of 1 by root of this 9 can be written as 3 square minus 25 x square can be written as 5 x whole square. Is it okay? Yes, all of you see. This is reduced into the form of integral 1 by root of a square minus x square. See here, integral 1 by root of a square minus x square dx. So, if uh, any scope is there of converting this type of functions into one of these three forms, then you apply that form and then integrate. Now, integration of 1 by root of a square minus x square is sin inverse x by a. Therefore, integral 1 by root of 3 square minus 5 x square is sin inverse x by a 5 x by 3 whole divided by 5 plus c. Why? Here you have only x, but here you have 5 x whole square. Therefore, you have to divide whole this function by 5 and so on. So, the final answer will be 1 by 5 sin inverse 5 x plus 3 plus c will be the solution for this question. Sometimes instead of polynomial functions, there may be trigonometric functions also, we take substitution. For example, in this question, we have integral secant square x whole divided by root of tan square x plus 4. So, what is the suitable function for substitution? Tan x derivative is secant square x. Therefore, the suitable function is tan x is equal to t derivative of tan x is secant square x dx is equal to dt. So, we will be using this substitution here that is integral secant square x dx can be written as dt dt by root of 
this tan square x can be written as t square plus 4 can be written as 2 square. So, this whole function is reduced into the form of integral 1 by root of x square plus a square form, integral 1 by root of x square plus a square form. So, easily you can find the integration that is integration of 1 by x square plus a square is log x plus root of x square minus a square modulus. So, therefore, this will be log x plus means here t plus root of t square plus 4 plus c will be the solution. Now, what is t here? Remember, the function is given in terms of x. Therefore, you have to write the solution also in terms of x. The final answer will be log modulus t is tan x plus root of tan square x plus 4 modulus cos plus c will be the solution for this question. So, here we applied the form using trigonometric substitution. Now, we will see integrals of some more functions. What are these types? Let us see one by one. Number one, integral root of x square minus a square dx. Just be careful. Earlier also we have seen this type of questions, but here we have root of x square minus a square, but in the numerator, not in the denominator. That in the denominator formula is different, and this is also different. This can be solved using x is equal to <coughs> a secant theta and so on. Now, what is the integration of this function? Formula will be x by 2 root of x square minus a square minus a square by 2 log modulus x plus root of x square minus a square mod close plus c. So, I used to call this as big formulas also. The formulas are very big, derivation also very big, but we can verify, we can derive this formula very easily by assuming x is equal to a secant theta. Similarly, we have second one integral root of x square plus a square dx that is x by 2 root of x square plus a square. The formula for this integrand is integral is plus a square by 2 log modulus x plus root of x square plus a square mod close plus c. To derive this formula, we take suitable function as x is equal to a tan theta. You may get one doubt, sir, why we have to take x is equal to a tan theta. This is in the form of 1 plus tan square secant square. There is one more formula, 1 plus cot square cosecant square, but the suitable function is tan theta. So, whenever you have this type of function, 1 plus tan square, you have to take tan. Here it is secant square minus 1. That is why we have taken x is equal to a secant theta. So, either this is secant square minus 1 or cosecant square minus 1. The simplest form is secant form. Therefore, we take x is equal to a secant theta. In this case, we take x is equal to tan theta because 1 plus tan square is equal to secant square and so on. What is the third one? The third one is integral root of a square minus x square dx. The formula for this is x by 2 root of a square minus x square plus. Just recall, I have written a big plus because only in this formula you have minus, in these two you have plus, that is a square by 2 sin inverse x by a plus c, this is a. To derive this formula, we have to take x is equal to a sin theta. You can remember easily also because 1 minus sin square is cos square or 1 minus cos square. So, the suitable form is x is equal to a sin theta. Uh, substituting this and simplifying, you will get uh, answer for this function. So, now let us see some problems of this form. Now, let us see two questions of uh, this form. For example, we have first question integral root of x square minus phi dx. Exactly, actually, actually, this is not in the uh, one of the forms. We can, we can reduce this into one of the forms. This can be written as root of x square minus root 5 whole square dx because there is a form root of x square minus a square, x square minus a square and so on. So, now the integration of this function is x by 2 root of x square minus root 5 whole square x square minus a square minus a by a square by 2 a square by 2 into log x plus modulus x plus root of x square minus 5 mod close plus c. I applied the same formula 
and if you simplify or it is in simplified form. So, I have applied this formula to find the integration of this question. Similarly, we have one more question integral root of 16 minus x square dx it is also can be reduced into the form integral root of 4 square minus x square dx which is in the form of integral root of a square minus x square dx. So, therefore, the answer for this question is x by 2 root of a square minus x square that means 4 square minus x square minus sorry plus a square by 2 4 square by 2 we have a square minus x square means sin inverse x by a therefore, sin inverse x by a what is a 4 here x by 4 plus c. So, we have applied the formula integral root of a square minus x square dx is equal to x by 2 root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a and this is the solution for the given problem. Okay, children now we will see how to find integration of the function of this form that means 1 by a x square plus b x plus c what is this a x square plus b x plus c is a quadratic polynomial or similarly integral 1 sorry 1 by root of a x square root of a x square plus b x plus c that means if a quadratic polynomial is given try to factorize or try to transform this quadratic polynomial into known forms just what we have discussed just 9 forms and then we find the integration. Let us solve one question integrals of the functions of the form 1 by a x square plus b x plus c or 1 by root of a x square plus b x plus c. So, you observe here in the denominator or in the root we have a quadratic polynomial. So, how to solve this type of functions? So, we use here either factorization method or in class 10 we have studied completion of squares and we reduce this quadratic polynomial into known forms like root of x square minus x square or x square plus a square and so on and then we apply the formula to find integrations of this type of functions. Just see first question integral 1 by x square plus 4 x plus 6. If the integrand is of this form this can turn as integral 1 by now just observe how I am applying completion of square formula which we have discussed in class 10 you might have studied see how I am writing this into completion of squares I am writing plus x plus half of this x coefficient x coefficient is 4 I am writing half that is 2 make it whole square minus this square always subtract square of this 2 square is 4 and I am writing this plus 6 as it is. Once again observe how I am writing this completion of square you may be familiar first I have written x the x coefficient sign plus if plus is there we will write plus if minus is there we write minus then take the half of the coefficient of x what is the coefficient of x 4 I am taking half of that that is 2 4 ka other 2 if there is 3 we write 3 by 2 and so on then we subtract square of this that is 2 square is 4 and we write plus 6 as it is now just simplify this one this can be reduced to 1 by x plus 2 whole square and this plus 2 now also it is not in known form so this can be written as integral 1 by x plus 2 whole square plus 2 can be written as root 2 whole square which is in the form of integral 1 by x square plus a square. Just recall the formula integral 1 by x square plus a square is 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So, we will be applying that formula here that is 1 by a 1 by root 2 tan inverse x by a that means x plus 2 by a is root 2 plus c. So, if you have quadratic polynomial in the denominator try to reduce the polynomial quadratic polynomial into known form like x square plus a square or x square minus a square or a square minus x square if there is root apply root formula and we find the integration of this function. Let us see one more question with root that is integral 1 by root of 8 plus 3 x minus x square here to factor is we need the quotient of x square as 1. So, here the quotient of x square is negative first we will make that as positive. So, this can be written as integral 1 by root of take minus as common minus x square and this will become minus 3 x and that is minus 8 dx. Be careful this minus will not come outside will not come outside it will be in the root only. You may think sir root of negative. So, later I will be multiplying with this negative. 
Okay. Okay, so just time being, I have written this minus as outside. Now I will factorize this and then I will multiply with a minus 1. Of course, root of negative cannot be defined, but I will not be keeping this as it is. So this can be factorized as integral 1 by root of minus box bracket start. This can be written as x. I told x coefficient sign is minus, therefore minus half of the x coefficient that is 3. I will write 3 by 2, make whole square minus a square of this. Forget about minus. For square of this is 9 by 4 and minus 8, minus 8 dx. Now, if you want, if you simplify this, you will get this term. Here also, if you simplify this one, you will get this term. Sit down. So, now, if you simplify integral 1 by root of minus, this is x minus 3 by 2 whole square. If you simplify minus 41 by 4, again which is not in the standard form. So, this can be written as integral 1 by root of, I will multiply with minus now, this minus will become plus and also I will write in standard form root 41 by 2 whole square, I have multiplied with minus and also I am writing this negative as positive and positive as negative minus x minus 3 by 2 whole square which is in the form of integral 1 by a square minus x square dx. What is integral 1 by root of a square minus x square dx is sin inverse x by a. Recall the formula. The formula for this is sin inverse x by a that is sin inverse x, x means here sin inverse x minus 3 by 2 whole divided by a that is root 41 by 2 this is sin inverse x by a plus c. So, do not leave as it is if there is any cancelling term you must simplify that is equal to sin inverse 2x minus 3 whole divided by root of 41 will be the solution for this 2, 2 I can cancel here. So, therefore, the final answer is sin inverse 2x minus 3 by root of 41. If you see one more question, integral 1 by 9x square plus 6x plus 5. Observe here x square quotient is negative, I made positive and then I applied the formula. Here x square quotient is not 1, in this case how to find the integration? First take x square quotient outside that is 1 by 9 I am taking common 1 by x square plus 6 by 9 x plus 5 by 9 be careful. That means I have taken 9 outside so that to make the quotient of x square as 1 now this can be written as 1 by 9 integral 1 by x square plus 2 by 3 x plus 5 by 9. I have simplified furthermore. Now, this can be written as 1 by 9 integral 1 by x plus 2 by 6 because half of this 2 by 3 is 2 by 6 whole square. What is this 2 by 3 it is nothing but 1 by 2 by 6 is 1 by 3. Now, what is the square of this minus 1 by 9 plus 5 by 9. Just I have adjusted one step here. What is the half of this 2 by 3? Half of this 2 by 3 is 2 by 6. If you simplify this 2 by 6 can be